Good evening and welcome to My Future. I'm Ruven Eko. This evening we're speaking to the students that this STEM curriculum was actually created for. We've had many discussions with, uh, I guess, the key stakeholders. We've spoken with the Ministry of Higher and Tertiary Education, Science and Technology Development. But it's always good to hear from the children themselves, those that are taking STEM subjects and those that are not. Let me introduce our full house this evening. Starting with uh, Prince Edward School, we have um, Tadiwa Nashe Chibisa. He is a lower six student doing STEM. He's taking maths, physics, and biology. Welcome to the program. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks for joining us. And then we also have Tino Tenda Madume. Tino's also in lower six, taking STEM as well, maths, physics, and chemistry. Welcome. Thank you. And then from Roosevelt, we have Michelle Zingorira, who is also in lower six, taking STEM as well, maths, biochem. Welcome. Thank you. And then we have um, Nicole Sigauke. Nicole is not taking STEM subjects. Nicole is taking arts. Uh, she's taking literature, divinity, and history. Welcome. Thank you. And then on the other side, we have Churchill. We have Troy Kudzai Sibanda. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Troy is in lower six as well, taking STEM, maths, physics, and chemistry. And then we have Hamutendi Vudzi. He is also taking STEM, maths, bio, and chemistry. Welcome. Thank you, ma'am. And last but not least, from Harare High, we have Tsitsi Mashushu. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Tsitsi, also in lower six, who's not taking STEM. Tsitsi's taking art subjects as well, and she's taking literature, divinity, and history. Welcome. And then we also have Lisa Chifamba. Lisa is taking commercials. She's in lower 6-2, studying maths, accounts, and business studies. Thank you for joining us. All right, so we're going to find out from our panel this evening why they're taking the subjects that they're taking um, without having made assumptions about STEM. Um, there's been a number of, uh, there's been a growth in the enrollment of STEM students over the past couple of weeks since the ministry rolled out the campaign. Obviously not yet reached the capacity that they want to reach, so there is still room, and I believe enrollment is continuing up until the second term of 2016. So let's find out from the students that did take up STEM and what their general understanding is about the STEM subjects. Let me start on this side, all right? So we've got three of you here taking up STEM subjects. Let's start by asking why you took STEM subjects. Um, well, I always decided to be an engineer. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it came as an opportunity, but that was already my choice. You were going to take STEM subjects anyway, even if they weren't called STEM subjects? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and so what do you want to be? Uh, I want to be a biological engineer. What does a biological engineer do? I eventually manufacturing microscopes and lenses. Okay, so for sort of any kind of equipment, not as not as little as sort of spectacles, but anything that uses lenses and microscopes. Yes, ma'am. All right, fascinating. And where do you want to study this? Um, maybe in South Africa. Or yeah. In the USA. Okay. Yes. All right. And then now uh, we also have from Prince Edward as well, uh, Tino. Tell us why you took on the STEM, curr STEM curriculum. Well. I wanted to do sciences, um, by now I'm doing maths, physics, chemistry, so it actually came as an advantage because I wasn't expecting it to come. Mm -hmm. When I heard of it, you know, I thought it was a joke at first because, <laughs> you know, something like this doesn't really happen. In right, way. right. Yeah, so yeah, it's, it's actually going to help me quite a lot because mm -hmm. I want to study aeronautic engineering. Mm -hmm. It's not really offered in Zimbabwe. What is that? It's, well, <laughs> Do any of you know what that is? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about this. Well, this degree is not offered in, in Zimbabwe. Uh, we basically design planes, mm -hmm. maintain them, uh, repair them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what it is. And I think I'm going to go study in Canada, hopefully. Right. Yeah. Can I start out at Zoka Kunogo? Because the Kunogo would be one day. That's all. Don't you if we have the capacity to do something like this, but obviously it's going to take quite a while for us to get to that level and better knowledge of this degree. Right. It's not really that famous or favorable. Right. I want to talk to Tzidza. Before you know it, there'll be more people that catch on. It's like actuarial science. When it first started, I think we had about three actuaries in the country for the longest time, and now it's caught on. So it is really about educating people, and hopefully you'll have a squad behind you before you know it. Yeah, okay. All right. And tell us why you chose to take STEM subjects, um, Michelle. 
I've always loved science, so it was actually quite obvious that I was going to take up science subjects. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to study physics, however, I ended up studying maths, biology, and chemistry instead. Why didn't you take physics? Because I hadn't done pure physics for my O levels. Ah, I see. So okay. So it would have been challenging to take it up. Uh -huh. All right. And our other STEM students, all right, let's find out from you. Firstly, I'm curious to know where you learned about the STEM program. Where did you hear about STEM the first time? The first time I mm. saw it, uh, it was in a newspaper. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Oh, so you read the newspaper. That's very encouraging, all right? I know a lot of young people kind of skip past that, so it's good to know. And uh, where did you learn about it? Newspaper, too. Newspaper as well. Um, Anywhere else? Any other different forms that you might have learned about STEM, even though you're not taking it? Um, that, that one I have from the radio. Like some of the singers were advertising it. Right. Right. <laughs> Job praise a song, yes. Gazi and Dimbeli. And you caught on to that. And you're like, what? So did you actually catch the message from his song? Yeah, I did. You knew exactly what was going on? Or did you think it was just a, another jam? Uh, no, I knew. You knew? Yeah. This is good. Okay, so now to those that did then finalize on taking STEM subjects, was the further push the fact that there was the assistance from government to pay for your tuition fees? And what was the conversation with your parents? Did your parents say definitely, okay, if they're paying, definitely? Or was there a bit more to consider? Uh, they just said if they're paying, they definitely will get to join the STEM program. Right, yeah. even though you didn't really want to take science? Yeah. <laughs> so it became the issue that it was, it was an opportunity and your parents were very excited about it. Yes. And right now your fees have been paid for by Zimdef. Very true. And did your parents get the refund? Yes. Maria Chiagato transfer, Agato Pinda, Mateo on my account. Yes, All right, that's good. Okay, and uh, coming back to uh, more on understanding on STEM, you know, this is a decision to take STEM subjects. Did your grades determine you getting into science at A level, your O level grades? What was the factoring in of that? If you had an A or a B in one of the in, in all of the subjects, then you could take them up. Okay. If you had an A or a B, that was the criteria. Because now the STEM campaign says C. So at your schools, are people allowed to enter A level sciences with C's and D's? Did any of you get a C or did you all get B's? You got a C. I had a C. Okay, tell you, I'd like to to find out from you. So you got a C for which subject? Physics. For physics. Yes, so how did you get in? Um, actually, I did physical science during my form three, uh -huh. form four, six, right. right. Then I decided to do pure sciences, so I had to venture into physics. Right. So actually, I did pure physics, yet I did physical sciences. Okay. So according to my teacher, that was a pass. Right. Yes, and she believed that you could, you know, see it through. Yes, so do you feel that you're going to do well? Because sometimes when you have a C, you're a bit scared, you know? I mean, if between a C and an A, there's a big jump, you know? So are you intimidated at all, or do you think you can actually achieve a very high grade at A level? I can achieve a high grade. You can? <laughs> all right. Okay, and now to the other students that did not take STEM subjects. Um, we'll find out a bit more from you after the break, understanding your position, what you think of STEM, and why you're not in this, in this program. So we'll be back with more of my future right after the break. Stay tuned. Welcome back to My Future, I'm Ruven Eko and I'm in studio this evening with eight students from different schools in Harare. We have Harare High, we have Roosevelt, we have Prince Edward and we have Churchill. <laughs> so we are going to be discussing more about STEM, hearing from the students that did not take STEM now. In the first segment we spoke to those that did. So we have uh, three that did not take on STEM subjects and we'd like to find out why. All right, so let me start with Nicole. Nicole, you are from Roosevelt, lower six, and you're taking literature, divinity, and history. Yes. Tell me why you're not taking STEM. I'm not taking STEM because I've always been passionate about the arts. Mm -hmm. I feel as though the arts are not really promoted as they're supposed to be in Zimbabwe. So I feel as though I can be one of the people to encourage people, other people in Zimbabwe, to take up arts. Right. Yeah. Okay, so you never had STEM on your radar at all? Not at all. And what do you want to be? I want to be a 
commercial lawyer. Mm -hmm. Dog ne marega. Yeah, dog ne marega. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I, was, I would want to be a commercial lawyer. Yeah, working with companies. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all I want. All right. So I guess in support of those that are passionate about science. You say you're passionate about the arts, which is great. So some are passionate about science. So what would you say in support of those who are taking on STEM and maybe those that are still considering it at home, who are not yet sure what it means? What's your understanding of the STEM campaign? I think that the STEM campaign, it's, it's fair if we consider that um, not a lot of people take the sciences because they think that it's hard. So that I would encourage people, if they have the passion, do it. Mm -hmm. If you feel as though you can't do it, might as well just leave mm -hmm. the STEM program. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, now to our other two ladies from Harare High who also not taking STEM subjects. Are they taking a different combination? We have Titsi, you're taking literature, divinity, and history. So tell me about your decision not to take STEM. Well, I've always loved to do arts, and I think I'm good at this subject. So I thought that I would do something which when at A-level I get better grades and do something with my life. But I think as for those who are doing STEM, because from what I understand, the STEM program is to initiate the social and economic forum of the country. Mm -hmm. But I would say, say, isn't the commercials and the arts also help hand in hand to boost the social and economic forum of the country? Because mm -hmm. these three interrelate. Mm -hmm. So that's what I have to say. All right. I like that point um, being brought up there because, you know, I did ask Dr. Gandawa, who's the Deputy Minister of Higher and Tertiary Education, Science and Technology Development, and I said, if you're pushing to pay tuition fees for those that are taking sciences, what are you then saying about those that are taking the arts? Are you saying they're not as relevant in the development of our economy? Are you saying they're not as important? Um, so maybe let's hear from those that are taking STEM. Do you feel that there is a greater importance on students such as yourselves who are taking on science subjects versus those that are taking the arts? There are fewer people who do sciences. Mm -hmm. So they wanted to boost the number mm -hmm. so that we can have more doctors and more engineers. Right. That's boosting our industry. Mm -hmm. That's all I have to say. All right. Any more contributions on this side? Well, I still feel that the arts are not being promoted as much as the sciences. <laughs> I feel as though if they could also give the arts a chance because honestly, I don't know if you want to be an actress, where would you go in Zimbabwe to learn how to be an actress? Mm. I really don't know where. Mm. So I think it's, it would be fair if they would give each and every one of us an opportunity to do what we are passionate. Mm. Yeah, that's what I think. So you would also like for the government to support your tuition fees as well? Yes. Because you feel that you deserve that? Yes, I do. Let's say you do a certain crime. Are you going to take another engineer to go to court for you? Mm. Mm. <laughs> um, well, I need a lawyer, yes. Okay. but we work hand in hand, but to a greater perspective, we as the science students, we have to be at large. We are needed by the country at the moment mm -hmm. for economic growth. Mm -hmm. no? I, I agree with that because we are commercial students. Mm -hmm. We have also our ideas, our goals that we are set for the, for the future. So for STEM, I think uh, they don't have to judge us, like judging a book by its cover. Mm -hmm. We only have to uncover the cover, discover what's undercover. Because so us, us, we also need privilege. We also need the government to support us. We also need the people, the parents also. They are suffering, like collecting the money, paying for us, commercial students, our students. But we also need the government to support us. Mm -hmm. Hey, Hansi, don't judge a book by its cover. You have to uncover what's <laughs> undercover. To what? You need to say that again. <laughs> All right, so we are, this is a really interesting uh, debate. You want to add something there, Tino? Yeah, uh, first of all, I like the quote there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I just think Zimbabwe is just, we want to go to the first world direction, mm -hmm. or no third world. Because this whole STEM thing, they're trying to promote this whole technology and this whole science thing. So we get where we want to be, we, like, we get to other levels where other countries are, mm -hmm. but obviously at the expense of commercials and arts, which is not fair, obviously, mm. because obviously there are many debates going on where the arts and commercials are as important as sciences. Mm -hmm. what, I'm try what I'm trying to say is that we're all equal, because eh? mm -hmm. we can't have a world of science without arts, without commercials. Mm -hmm. 
obviously science is something that's important, and I do science, but without other people, it can't be Zimbabwe without, you know, the arts, without the commercial. Right. Because obviously we were not yet a uh, first world country. We're an African country. Mm -hmm. And we need those arts. We need those mm -hmm. commercials. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're not like, you know, America, Europe. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we don't have all that technology. Right. And we know we're trying to make that stuff. But obviously, let's also accommodate, you know, our commercials or arts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Voice of reason, all right? This is a diplomatic position that he's taken here, appreciating every facet of life, you know, saying that every combination is as relevant as the other. But what we do know about the STEM uh, campaign is that there was a push to encourage more students to take science subjects. The perception is that science subjects are more difficult and science subjects are more for men than they are for women. So let's find out from you. You know, you're on the ground. Um, are your peers intimidated by science subjects? Yes. Hmm. Well, obviously, people have this phobia of sciences. Hmm. It's quite obvious. When when people ask you for a combination and say, I'm doing mass physics, chemistry, you know, the look on their face just says it all. What's the look on their face? <laughs> They're shocked, you know, <laughs> some people hold their heads, you know, I would go. Sorry, Jaco. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes that, you know, discourages you. Really? I thought there'd be admiration, you know? No, the thing is, sometimes people, if they keep telling you, hey, are you sure? Hey, are you sure? <laughs> are you sure? Right. You know, like. Obviously, it gets you thinking, like, am I sure? Mm, you know? mm. So, obviously, you have, you have to, like, take a lot of things into consideration. Right. And where do you get that surety, then? If you're saying that there is a lot of, are you sure? Makes you second-guess yourself. So, where do you get that confidence to say, I'm going to take this on, and I'm going to go to school every day, and I'm going to do well? Well, the fact that people are saying that, you know, this is hard. You're trying to prove a point that mm. me even though people may say it's hard, I can achieve this, mm -hmm. that I can do this, even though the odds are against me. Right. Like my friend here got a C. Mm. But obviously he didn't give up. Right. He just kept going for it. Right. And I'm, I'm very sure he's going to get his five points for physics. Oh, aren't it's you just so <laughs> supportive? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, that's good. That's good. Right now, I'm just speaking for all the science students in Zimbabwe. Mm. We just get a lot of criticism right. just for doing sciences. Right. Right. Yeah, just hanging in this bog. <laughs> <laughs> well, you must take it and, and, and you must not let anybody take you down, um, regardless of what it is that you're studying, whether it's the commercials, whether it's the arts, whether it is science, whether it is STEM. You can do what you need to do if you put your mind to it. We're going to have to take a quick break and we'll be right back. We'll continue our conversation after the break in our last segment of My Future this evening. I'm Ruven Eko. Stay tuned. Welcome back to My Future. I'm Ruven Eko. This evening we are speaking to students who are taking different combinations at lower six level at different schools in Harare. And we're finding out their sentiments around STEM, around the actual subjects they're each taking. And before the break, we got into quite an interesting debate and some motivational speech around uh, what it means to take different science subjects amongst the peers. So we can continue with that. And I know that um, we had a, a, pressing, a pressing issue here um, from um, Michelle. Go ahead. I wanted to say that um, for, for me, as a girl, I'd like to empower other ladies to take up science subjects. Mm -hmm. So this initiative comes as an added advantage to show the world that um, we can also empower the girl child through science. And as for the other subjects, I think they are also equally important, as they said, because we all need each, each other to, to make a difference. Mm -hmm and to better our world. Mm -hmm. And that way Zimbabwe can become better in terms right. of the economy right. and will actually become a first world country. 
Right. I like this, bringing in the discussion around gender, because this is one of the contentious issues around science, not just in Zimbabwe, but globally. In Zimbabwe, we have 52% of women, and we are obviously in a position where we're pushing for women empowerment. We're pushing for women to know their rights, to take their place in society. Now, looking at it from a scientific side, you know, as Michelle has just articulated, how many young women would take on science saying that maybe I can't because I'm a woman? So I want to come back to you all and find out what is the sentiment on the ground from each other as peers, especially from the boys. You know, what is the thought around a woman taking science subjects? Are we past that barrier or is it still a barrier? Mm. I believe that we're past that barrier. Good. Yes, because nowadays there's more females who are doing like science subjects and there's the enrollment as well at universities. Mm -hmm. They set a standard such that women themselves can enter more easily. Or yeah. Yes. Right. And from the young girls, those that didn't take on uh, STEM, right? You're sitting from art side, you're sitting from a commercial side. Um, is there a sentiment from the others that took on your subjects that, because mm, science are TND, mm -hmm. especially Seva Kadze? Yes, there is, because most people believe that scientists are hard. So they actually think that they must run away from them and then take up other subjects such as arts and commercials. Sometimes it's all about passion, but I once had a friend, she wanted to do sciences, but then she was thinking like, hey, can I do it? So she ended up doing commercials, not because of passion, but because of that fear that a woman can't do sciences, mm. they're just for men. Mm -hmm. All right, you want to add something there? Yeah. If they can do it, we women can do it also. Mm -hmm. um, we have this motivation that we have the ability, the difference is how we use it. Mm -hmm. So as women, we are going to work as science, I'm going to motivate you by doing science students like uh, doing science subjects, uh, you have to do it well because like a minute now is better than a minute tomorrow. Mm. So we have to work together, stand firm, be one. Also as commercial students, we are also working together, build our nation, we bring it together session. The thing is, um, we, all have, yeah, we all face difficulties in life, but they should act as a tonic mm -hmm. to spare us to get accession. That's right. what I can say. Yeah, you, you sound more like an art subject, a student, than a commercial student with all your quotes under the belt. Um, that's good. This is very, very good um, and motivating. Um, I like what you raised there about, you know, that there is, you are honest, you know, that a lot of young girls might be intimidated to take on science subjects because they think they're harder. Um, and why would, why would young girls struggle to take on science subjects? You're taking them and you're an art student. You know, what is it? Are we really afraid that we can't do it? And if it's harder, so what? as though sometimes it, the parents also discourage us. Right. They feel as though we are not able to do what other men mainly can mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. So I feel as though if parents can also change their perspective, we girls can also change our perspective on mm -hmm. the science subjects. Mm -hmm. And how about the teachers? I mean, do the teachers also play a role in the decision-making process? Yeah, like um, I wanted to do sciences, but as for my teachers, they saw me that time. Um, that I can do, I cannot do it. I can go for commercials. Why was that? Was it about your grades or they had just decided? Well, I had A's in science subjects. Also, A's in commercial subjects. Right. So um, I had to go for sciences. But they now had to tell me that you have to go for commercials. That's Why? what you can handle. Yeah. The thing is, it's not something that you can do what you want, but you can do something that you can handle in life. I can go for sciences. Then I have to fall maybe 10 points or 9. We can, I can go for commercials and get 15 points. So the thing is, when are you going to get more points? That's the thing. This is very interesting. So your own teachers steered you in one direction, yet on paper you had achieved A's for all your subjects. I had a B in biology. A B in biology, but they still steered you toward commercials because they felt that you might do better. Mm -hmm. So who helped you make that final decision? Was it yourself? Was it your teachers or was it your parents? No, I had to make the decision myself because, like my brother, yeah, he motivated me that I should go for commercials because nowadays, yes, I would have gone for sciences and mm. maybe excel, but I have to go for my commercials so that I can get more points and become an accountant and yeah. articles. That's my dream. Right. I'd like to become an accountant. Okay. Yeah. All right. You want to add something? Okay. From my perspective, um, in, at Roosevelt, we get to choose the subjects depending on how good your grades are. So if you like sciences, but aren't that equally talented in them, you have to take up other fields. 
and then maybe you can actually excel. Like she's studying arts mm-hmm. and she's good at them. But then I I wanted sciences, so I opted for sciences, and mm-hmm. my teachers actually agree that I can take up the science subjects. Right. There you heard it from our future, right? In Zimbabwe, students at different schools in Harare telling us about what they would like for Zimbabwe. Thank you for joining us on my future. I'm Ruben Eko. That's it for me. Good night for now. Be good. And if you can't be good, be safe. <laughs> Hurry up! Go, go, go! Ah, the mafia. We don't do the beats. Nigga, see me somewhere.